Hello everyone, here is something very scary. More than one in three adults already have three diabetes and most don't even know they are suffering with this condition. It's like driving a car with the engine warning light on but pretending everything is fine, car is driving okay for now until the engine fails. In this video, I will show you the five written signs your body gives before diabetes strikes. Spot these early signs and you can stop diabetes in its track. Those who don't know me, hi, my name is Matlub and I'm a pharmacist based in the UK and my job is to make health simpler and make it easy. So these five early warning signs include number one, unexplained belly weight gain, especially around the waist. Even a few extra inches can be your body's first cry for help that insulin isn't working properly. Number two, dark velvety skin patches on the neck, armpits and knuckles. This isn't just dead or skin pigmentation. It's called acanthosis nigricant. Number three, constant thirst and frequent urination. Your kidneys are literally trying to flush out the extra sugar which body can't cope up with. So number four, blurred vision. Not just eye strain, rising sugar level cause fluid shifting inside the eye lens, making your eyesight cloudy. So do not ignore this sign. Number five, tiredness, slow healing or tingling in your feet. Your cells are starving for energy, even though sugar is in the blood, but it's not in the right place. It's not inside the cell. That mismatch is classic early warning sign. So here is the differential diagnosis. Of course, these symptoms could come from other things like thyroid issue, dehydration, or just aging. That's why the only way to confirm is through a simple blood test. Fasting blood glucose level, HbA1c will be a good indicator, and oral glucose tolerance test. So in the end, think of pre-diabetes as your body's whispering before it starts shouting. Catch it early and you can completely reverse it with the right lifestyle changes. Don't ignore these warning lights. And if you found this helpful, share it with somebody who you know is suffering with this condition that can save a life. 